can't see far. To begin, I will discuss the use of lenses to correct vision. The two types of lenses, converging and diverging lenses, refract light in a unique way. As the diagram shows, a converging lens, also known as a convex lens, refracts incident light rays coming in parallel to the principal axis towards the focal point. And here are the focal points. On the other hand, a diverging lens, also known as a concave lens, refracts incident light rays coming in parallel to the principal axis so that they diverge in accordance to the focal point right here. Now you might be thinking, what do these lenses have to do with eyesight? Well, as these lenses have certain optical properties, they can be used to treat vision problems. Two main vision problems are myopia and hyperopia. Myopia is nearsightedness and hyperopia is farsightedness. A person with myopia can see objects nearby but has difficulty with objects far away. This occurs when the cornea and lens converge too strongly or the distance between the retina and the lens is too great. The incoming light rays converge in front of the retina, producing a blurry image. A diverging lens fixes this issue as the, issue will, as the light will diverge outward before entering the eye. Therefore, the light rays will enter at a larger angle and end up converging onto the retina. The strength of the lens varies depending on the severity of the vision problem. A person with hyperopia can see objects far away but has difficulties with objects nearby. This occurs when the cornea and lens are too weak or if the retina is too small. The incident light rays converge behind the retina and do not produce a clear image. A converging lens fixes this issue. Incident light rays will converge towards the focal point before entering the eye, so this compensates for the weak cornea and lens convergence and the light will end up focusing onto the retina. The next question that we're lead to is, are corrective lenses wholly beneficial? So while glasses give us the precious ability to see, there are still issues that glasses can pose for us. So now glasses can be expensive, and many people need to renew their prescriptions every year, which increases these steep prices. Also, glasses do not always fully correct vision, and some people will always be required to wear glasses in order to see. Finally, glasses do not have a very good side vision and can prove to be uncomfortable for a person to see with. Now, contact lenses are another form of corrective lenses that come with their own benefits, but also other disadvantages. Contact lenses have a better side view than glasses, as the lens are placed into the cornea. Also, many people find contact lenses aesthetically pleasing, as they are good for many outdoor activities, such as sports, where glasses can easily break. Although contact lenses have their own issues as well, many people get eye infections if the lenses are not properly cleaned and the lenses are also easily damaged. In addition, contact lenses are not always comfortable for people and they also can't be worn while swimming, showering, or sleeping. All in all, corrective lenses are a wonderful application of optics to aid in human vision and in general, the benefits outweigh the cons as correct vision is necessary to live a normal life. I got my glasses now I can see! <laughs> Now that we know how lenses fix health problems such as myopia and hyperopia, I will discuss other health issues that help lenses help solve. A vision condition that affects the elderly is presbyopia. Presbyopia is the loss of accommodation as one ages. The human uses ciliary muscles to focus on objects which change the shape of the eye's lens to adjust the focal length. In presbyopia, eye muscles weaken, thus reducing their performance and this results in farsightedness. Farsightedness can be fixed by using converging lenses. The lenses help focus the light rays so they converge at the retina which enables us to see. Another eye condition is amblyopia, more commonly known as lazy eye. Lazy eye usually develops at an early age and one eye is stronger than the other. As one ages, the brain ignores the images sent by the, other, by the lazy eye. The common treatment for amblyopia includes using prescription glasses. There is a different prescription in each lens. A higher prescription is used for the lazy eye to force it to work harder and see better. With the help of these lenses, children are able to see with their lazy eye, whereas in the past they could not see. Corrective lenses have phenomenally improved the lives of people. First of all, amblyopia is an eye condition which can cause low self-esteem, especially in children. It is well known that many children with these types of eye conditions are bullied in schools and playgrounds. Although nowadays, with the creation of glasses that force the lazy eye to work as hard as the normal eye, children are not forced to undergo the harsh effects caused by this condition. Also, lenses are now designed to fit people based on their daily lives and working conditions. For example, polycarbonate gla glasses are made for people who participate in sports or work in an environment where their glasses can easily be scratched. 
Not only have lenses been engineered to help people see and live a normal life, but they have er been ergonomically created to fit an individual's lifestyle to create optimal, optimal comfort. Finally, glasses have also become a fashion statement for people. From previous Coke bottle style glasses, lenses are now sleek and come in a variety of styles. In fact, many high-end brands such as Gucci and Chanel sell extremely expensive frames that are desired by many. Sunglasses are also very popular and stylish as they are hyped up by many brands. Now I will talk about the history of corrective lenses. In 1080, the first vision aid was invented. It was known as a reading stone and it was a glass sphere used to magnify letters. The earliest lenses were convex lenses and they corrected farsightedness. In 12 84, Salvino Darmi invented the first wearable glasses. In 1451, the first nearsighted glasses were invented. Concave lenses were invented to correct nearsightedness. In 1784, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocal lenses which helped see people see both near and far. He was tired of switching between two pairs of glasses, so he invented these lenses which had two lenses, one for seeing distant and one for near. In 1827, John Isaac Hawkins invents trifocal lenses which were for seeing distant, near, and in between. As well, in 1827, Sir George Biddle invented glasses to correct astigmatism which were meant to be held by hand and later by ribbon. In 1955, the first unbreakable lenses were created. In 1971, glasses were made out of a combination of plastic and glass instead of only glass. The evolution of glasses has dramatically advanced over the centuries. Early glasses had glass lenses set into heavy frames of wood, lead, or copper. Natural materials such as leather, bone, and horn were used later. In the 17th century, lighter frames of steel were invented. Nowadays, glasses come with very thin lenses and sleek and stylish frames. I love my sunglasses!